Hello scholars, this is Mr. Key, and today's lesson will be for April 24th, uh, Friday, 2020, okay? So let's go over the question from yesterday. So the first question from, from Thursday was, each number line represents a length of one meter. Which model shows a ball that is one-fourth a meter away from zero? So we're looking for a fraction, a part of one-fourth, right? Now, I told you that choice A, right, we had 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 over 7 right here. If we count backwards, we have 6 over 7, 5 over 7, then 4 over 7. So choice A, 4 over 7 will not work. Let's try choice B, 0, 1, 2, 3. So we have 3 over 3, count backwards, 3 over 3, 2 over 3, 1 over 3. So we have 1 third. We're looking for 1 fourth. So choice B will not work as well. Let's try choice C. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 over 5 right here. 5 over 5. 4 over 5. 3 over 5. 2 over 5. 1 over 5. So choice C will not work as well. You see 1 over 5 right here. Now let's just make sure that choice D is correct. 0, 1, 2, three, four. And this one might work. So we have four over four, work backwards, three over four, two over four, and then we have one over four. Okay. So one fourth is the fraction we're looking for. So choice D is the right answer. Okay. So good job if you got that one right. If you were close, good job as well. You're getting there. All right. Next question. So this question says each number line represents a length of one meter. Which model shows a bean that is five eighths of a meter away from zero? Okay, five eighths. So we said zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we have eight parts. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're looking for five eighths. So let's make sure. Let's see if this bean is on five eighths. Okay, so we have eight over eight. 7 over 8, 6 over 8, 5 over 8, and we have 4 over 8 right here. We're looking for 5 eighths, so we were almost there with this question, but we have to cross this one out. This one says 4 eighths, and we need 5 eighths, so choice A will not work. Okay, choice B, let's count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We see 6 parts to make a whole, so 6 over 6, so we're looking for five eighths, right? That would mean that our whole would equal eight. There should be eight parts. Let me see six parts right here. So by a process of elimination, let's take out choice B. Okay. Choice B only has six parts or six holes or, or six parts to make a whole. All right. So let's work smart with these questions. Let's just work fast. Let's cross out choices that do not make any sense right off the bat, right? So choice B will not work. Let's try choice C. We see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This one might work. So we have 8 over 8 right here. So that checks out. We have, we have A as a whole. That checks out. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 over 8. Let's work backwards. So we have 8 over 8 right here. 7 over 8. 6 over 8. 5 over 8. So choice C just might work out. Let's come back to choice C. Let's just make sure we're choice D. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we only have 7 parts in the whole. So choice D will not work. So our correct answer is choice C, 5 over 8 right here. Okay. Now our questions for today are these two right here. Now these questions are just like the questions from before. Okay. So I'm just going to read you the question. And then I'm going to leave it at that, okay? It's just like before, it's, it's more of a practice just to make sure that you guys understand the questions as well. And then we'll go back over it um, next week, okay? So our first question for, um, for homework for, for today is each number line represents a length of one meter. Which model shows an egg that is six-eighths of a meter away from zero? So six-eighths. So the first thing you want to do as a review is you want to count from zero to one, right? And when you're counting, right, this will always be zero, 
then you start counting right here. This would be 1. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. From right there, you want to make sure that from right here to right here is 8 parts. If it's not 8 parts from right here to right here, from right here to right here, cross it out, okay? From right here. If it's not 8 parts from, from right here to right here, you cross it out. Same thing right here. Right here to right here. If it's not 8 parts, you cross it out, okay? <clears throat> and then you just want to solve for where 6 eighths is, okay? So first do a process of elimination. Figure out which number lines do not have 8 parts from from right here to right here. And then from there, just count each part and figure out where the where, where the egg lies. Okay? And if it helps you, you can count backwards. So once you know what the, the hole of this number line is, right, make that hole right here. Okay? So just for example, just to be nice, <laughs> I'll be nice. Let's do this. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that worked out for you guys. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 parts to make a hole. So this 1 can be replaced with an 8 over 8. From there, you're going to count backwards. So 8 over 8, 7 over 8, 6 over 8, 5 over 8, 4 over 8, and then 3 over 8, or 3 eighths. We're looking for 6 eighths. So that question, sorry, this choice will not work. So we can cross out choice A. So we were so close, right? We had 8 parts in the hole, but we're looking for 6 eighths. And this one said 3 eighths. Okay, so choice A will not work. So from there, choice B, C, and D are left. Now that I want you guys to go ahead and solve for which one is the right answer, okay? Now the last question for today is the same thing. Each number line represents a length of one meter. Which model shows a flower that is three-eighths of a meter away from zero? So the same thing as before. You want to count, right, zero, then one, zero, then one, zero, one, zero one starting from right here at the ones you want to count <clears throat> to this one down here okay so count from right there i'll be nice one more time <laughs> so zero one two three four five six seven eight so that worked out for you guys again zero one two three four five six seven eight okay now we can we can change this one to an eight over eight. So we have eight over eight right here, seven over eight, six over eight, five over eight, four over eight, three over eight, two over eight, and then one over eight. So this flower, this point right here is on two eighths. We're looking for three eighths. Okay? Three eighths. We were so close, right? We made sure that from right here to right here, it had eight parts, right? Eight parts to make a hole. But unfortunately, this choice was two eighths. So this is not our right answer. So choice D will not work. So from there, yeah, let's look for choice A, B, and C. Okay, so from A, B, or C, which one is the right answer choice? Okay, and I'm going to stop right there so you guys can go ahead and get started on these two problems, okay? And that will be it for today, and we'll go over the questions um, next week.